What is a form in Microsoft Access? In a Microsoft Access database, all of the data is stored in one or more tables. However, tables have very limited formatting options, and if you have thousands upon thousands of records, working with a table can be a little difficult, especially if you don't know a lot about Microsoft Access. Forms allow you to build a nice, user-friendly interface to work with data on the screen. Whether you're building a database just for yourself or for other people to work with, forms are a major time saver. You can display information however you want. You can include just the types of data that you want your users to work with. You can combine information from multiple tables, such as displaying a summary of a customer's orders on the customer form. You can secure your fields so users can only modify specific data and can only see other types of data. You may not want your end users seeing credit card numbers, for example. You can display calculations on your forms, such as the total number of days an employee has missed work. Your forms can also contain drop-down lists, so users can select data. Command buttons allow us to perform tasks, such as opening other forms or finding records. In fact, you can turn a form into a main menu for other forms. The benefits of working with forms go on and on, but essentially, you'll build the interface with which users will work with your data out of forms. You never want users to have to work directly with your tables and queries, and you'll see why in upcoming classes. You can create many different kinds of forms. For example, this is a main menu form. It's simply a form with no data in it with a bunch of buttons. And I can click on this button here called a command button to open up my customer list. The customer list is a different type of form called a continuous form where you can see a bunch of different records. Here's a list of all my customers. I can click on a specific customer, then click on this command button that says open selected customer and the single customer form opens. And here's the customer form with all of the customer's details. This is called a single form because it shows you a single record at a time. Single forms can have other forms embedded inside them. These are called subforms. For example, over here you can see a subform that displays the contact history for this customer. That's actually a separate form. There are a million different things you can do with forms. I cover basic form design in my Microsoft Access Beginner Level 1 class, which you can watch for free on my YouTube channel. Click on the link shown to watch right now. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I've got tons of free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons in other subjects like Microsoft Excel, Word, Visual Basic, Windows, and others. And also, click to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, for even more free videos, my Access Message forums, and lots more.